Well, good afternoon from Pokhara. Poker, uh, apparently that's how it's pronounced. I actually. Not Pokhara? Not Pokhara. We've been saying it wrong for a few days, but I finally Googled it and it's Poker, uh, Pokhara, Pokhara. I'm sure we're still saying it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're going with. And today we're going to be having some Nepali food. We're at one of our favorite restaurants, it's called Olive Cafe. And their menu says something like, European style with Nepali flavor or something like that. So we specifically ordered their local specialties and my goodness, traffic is just chaotic. It sounds like there's a celebration. Oh, let's check this out. We'll zoom into it. Oh, it's blurry. Come on, focus. All right. Does that look like cricket? Cricket bats? Whatever you call those? You know what? Maybe maybe the team that won is celebrating on the way home. They, they won an important cricket match. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the food should be here soon. We've ordered a lot of different things to show you guys what the food is like here in Nepal. And it should be tasty! Yeah! So here is my fancy drink, mint lemonade. And for the and hobby. My not so fancy drink, I'm just going for the local brewski, the local beer. Everest. So we've got Everest. I've had this a few times now, it's a nice refreshing beer. Yeah. Mm. Do you feel like it gives you the strength to tackle Everest? Oh yeah, I, that's, it's, it's, like, it's like the spinach for Popeye, right? You, ah. you, you drink Everest beer and suddenly you have the ability to climb Everest, of oh, course. Amazing. That's exactly how it works. <laughs> or at the very least, Everest Base Camp. <laughs> the food is here and it looks amazing. Check it out, I'm having something called Chuela. And this is fish from the local lake. It's marinated in secret spices. That's what it says in the menu. They won't even tell you what's in it. And I then it's that. barbecued <laughs> so in the, the tandoor oven, according to the menu. So I didn't even see this being prepared. Secret but spices. it looks so good. Yep. If you look at the pieces of fish, like they're so plump. And oh my gosh, this just oh, wow. looks fresh. Di di do some more dissections for us. More dissections. Here we are in the science lab. Yes. I am dissecting the fish. Exactly. Anyways, I'm gonna try some of this already. <laughs> it looks so good. Wow. Man, it looks like there's some tomatoes in there, maybe cilantro. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Um, that's really good. I yeah. chose well. The Did fish, we it's so soft, it melts in your mouth. <laughs> I just had some kind of insect bite my elbow. So oh my god! It, it was a little shaky. That's why. <laughs> that's bad, bad, attacked. Bad cameraman. The over mosquitoes here. want the fish. <laughs> this is so nice. That is cilantro. Little chunks of tomato. Let Looks me see like a little bit that. of a, a yellow curry. Oh wow! Man, it's. You good. can see that so well now. It's good. And if you have a look at the plate here, we've got some bread. This looks like a chapati instead of a naan. It's not quite as fluffy. It's a little more yeah. flat. Yeah, it's definitely that's definitely not naan. Yeah, so I would compare it to, to pita, pita bread, if you're not familiar oh, with chapatis. That stupid insect is biting my elbow. Oh my again. gosh, Sam. Yeah. I must have a really tasty elbow because it's the only place it's going for. Anyways, <laughs> I'm using the chapati to get some of the fish. This looks so good. Yummy, 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 yummy. Oh yeah, we are not like this. Yeah. Oh, vegetables. Oh okay. god. <laughs> We get some carrots. Let's not forget the carrots, raw carrots. Those poor carrots. And there you go. All neglected over there. Yeah, they are. On the corner of the plate. So we have Sam going in for his first bite of chuela. And I have to say, you're looking very Afro-y on camera. You know what? I think I'm at the stage now where I need to go to the barber and get a proper haircut. And not only that, but a shave. A shave too. So maybe that could be a future vlog. Would you guys like to see that? <laughs> Would you like to see me getting a haircut and shave? <laughs> In to Nepal transform, or in India? To transform from Wolverine to clean cut? You know what? You, you don't look like Wolverine. You look like a little bear. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm just a, a I'm just a little redheaded bear. Okay. So fluffy. Anyways, Troy Lap. On to the food. Mm. How's oh my that? Gosh. It's just such moist and tender fish. Yeah. And the spices are really nice. Like, um. It's, we, we did ask for it really spicy. It's not as spicy as I thought it would be. Yeah. But it has a real rich flavor and mm -hmm. it's just, I don't know, yeah, I don't know what is, what's in it because they wouldn't tell us, but. It's secret. It is a very <laughs> a nice. A well-kept secret. A nice well-kept secret and <laughs> they're, they're obviously doing something well because I think this is one of the most popular uh, 
you know, dishes that they have on their menu. Yeah. So, it's good stuff. All right, moving on. Well, you've tried my food. Now yeah. time to introduce your dish. So the one that I ordered was a pokora style curry. Uh -huh. and it comes with fish. We had the choice uh, between chicken and pork, I believe. Yeah. And oh, let's turn that around a bit. Let's turn that around. That. Look at so you can colors. see there's nice big chunks of fish over here too. And looks you know really what? Good. It looks like the same fish they use for mine. Yeah, I, I'm, fish from I'm, the I'm sure it is. So Man. it also comes with brown rice, which brown is rice. nice. We had the choice between brown rice and white rice. So we're making the adult decision to get the healthier version. The brown healthier rice. version. I yeah. think brown rice is tastier anyway. I, I agree with you on that. Yeah. So I'm just going to have a bite and then I'm going to go for a bite of rice. So let's see what dish wow. comes out on top. You know what? They, they said that this was a must try dish on their menu. Yeah. And I totally agree. Like, that curry is just so good, so rich. It's like a thick, flavorful curry. Mm. And then because the fish has obviously been marinated and eaten, cooking in there for a long time, it's even, I think it's even more tender than the fish from your dish. So, wow. The fish from your dish. <laughs> it kind of rhymes a bit. But, uh, that could be a wrap. Yeah, that's, that's, fish my, from your dish. that's my bad fish attempt at wrapping. Like. But uh, yeah, it's so good. I'm going to have another bite with rice. So. Don't mind my thumb here. Do you do have a, a knife I and a fork and a spoon well, to make I, it work. Mm. It's more fun to eat with your hands whenever you camp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that the rice really complements it well. It helps right. sop up a bit of the, the gravy. Okay, my turn. My turn. You're gonna like this one. Okay, go ahead. Let's see what this is all about. La la, it's still steaming. It's I know. Hot. I mean. It's, it's kind of a miracle that it's still warm because we spent a lot of time like taking mm. photos of it, shooting video mm. clips of it, and then we ate yours first. Isn't that awesome? Mm. It's just amazingly good. What you know you the think? curry it has um, lentils. It's kind of like a, a dal base. Yeah. That's really nice. Isn't that good? Gives it a nice texture as well. Yeah, try it with the rice. Yeah. The rice really complements it, I feel. Mm. What do you think? I like both of them. I know, we, we ordered well today. I and we still got dessert, guys. We have dessert coming. Dessert's coming. Yes. Fancy tea time for Sammy the teddy bear. <laughs> Must mean it's dessert, right? So <laughs> no, tea. Just tea, tea. Well, there's cake here. So take a look at this. I'm going to break the skin. I'm going to break the skin here. <laughs> so this is Nepali tea. Yeah. And I was looking at the ingredients. Oh, I can smell it here. So I think it's kind of it's similar to chai, but oh I could, there's been ginger and cinnamon added to this one. Cardamom. Cardamom. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna try it. It some. smells really good. To me, it smells like the holidays. Like when you combine yeah. those spices, it's just kind of Christmassy. It really is. That's good. It's got a really milky taste, and you also taste the spices, but the, yeah, there's been no sugar added, which is kind of cool. It's just got the, the natural milky tea taste, mm -hmm. and I like it. It's warming me up. It's getting a little chilly. The sun's going down here in Bukhara, so <laughs> yeah. Now, what I've been waiting for, the cake is melting while Sam takes sexy food shots. <laughs> so this is called yes. Matcha Putre Kiss. I believe it's named after a peak, if I, if I got that right. So it's a frozen cake with a cookie layer, some chocolate, and a chocolate drizzle over top as well. So it looks good. Look at that. Mm. You like that? Mm. <laughs> I so, sure do. It's so good you're going in for more and you're not even describing it. Oh no. my gosh. Oh my gosh, you know it's good. When it's delicious is how I would describe it. Yeah. This part, it's almost like a moist brownie, the chocolate. Yeah. It has a moist brownie texture right in between the, the two cake layers. Man. So what say you? I say I I. All right, teddy bear. So, <laughs> apparently I get a bite too. Yeah, you How do. How kind of you. You only had like five before I got to try one. You're welcome. Okay, I'm gonna get some chocolate here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What do you think? Wow, that's so good. I know. It's just really decadent. 
It's such a nice way to end what's been a wonderful meal. It really like is. our two main courses were amazing. It really is. And I didn't yeah. think I had a lot of room left for dessert, but now that I'm trying this. All of a sudden he does. There's some room left over. <laughs> okay guys, now some for something a little bit funny. We trust each other so little to share like portions, even Steven, like half and half, that we actually often like something we really like if it's a dessert, we will draw a line in dessert. Cut it off. And Sam got the bigger chunk. Break chunks. it off and separate Let it. me just say that. I you got not. the bigger chunk. You had more than me already. I, I got the raw end of the deal this time. Not but any, <laughs> anyways, this is what we do to ensure we get an equal That's portion. That's what Sam does. No, I slowly. You, Sam's you, like... You're the, you're, no, you're the one who decided for the line today. Admit it. Who, who picked the line today? And you're eating too fast. <laughs> And now it is time to pay the bill. We got the bill. Um, came to roughly about 18 or 19 US dollars for all of that food. Two mains, one dessert, uh, a beer, and two other drinks. So yeah, this, this part of the town, it's obviously a bit more expensive. You could definitely find something cheaper. But yeah. in terms of quality, this is, this is the best we've had. This is our favorite restaurant in Nepal yeah. so far. Love this place. And it is called... It's Olive called Cafe. Olive Cafe, oh my god. <laughs> I forgot the name for a second. <laughs> so bad. I know exactly where it is for my hotel, so. When I know where somewhere it is, I just usually don't remember the name. But it's called Olive Cafe, so if you're in Pokhara, check it out.